Hello, Boss Word of Winter Boxing Block Center. Deontay Wilder has stated that he will only accept a 60 to 40 post split if he beats Tyson Fury, saying that after he beats Fury, he will become the A side to Anthony Joshua. That he might pity Joshua by giving him. Or fifty percent, you know, making it fifty-fifty. That he might pity Joshua, but if not, he will demand a sixty-forty, or there will be no fight. Let me give my thoughts on what Water has stated. I think Water is just mentally deranged and mentally, you know, unstable. You know, I'm flabbergasted by Tionto Water's demand. When no one in America knows him. In fact, didn't we saw during the press conference how Tyson Fury stole the show? How there were more people supporting Tyson Fury, shouting, "There's only one Tyson Fury!" in the crowd. You know, in a country that wasn't. I mean, that isn't Tyson Fury's uh, country. Tyson Fury was not born in America, but he went there, found an American, which is due to water, and getting more fans there than than Wilder, the guy who who is from there. Isn't that laughable? Yes, it is laughable. And then this is the same guy is saying that if he beats Tyson Fury, <clears throat> he's going to be sixty forty to Joshua. You know, Joshua will have to accept fifty forty percent, if not. He can go away and do his thing. Deontay Wilder, listen carefully. We know what you're doing, okay? I'm listening. I don't want to be bass. I don't want to talk trash. I don't want to insult this guy. I'm tired of insulting this guy. I just want to get to see this guy sign the contract to fight AJ. If he does that, then I will start taking him serious. Right now, he's just a guy who talk a lot of shit, but. Isn't gonna back it up. Listen, Errol Spence. You see Errol Spence Jr. People were saying that this guy is the most feared guy, most this guy. Nobody wants to fight him. Errol Spence Jr. should have been fighting, or should have fought uh, Terrence Crawford. Okay. You know, Terrence Crawford wouldn't have had to fight Benavides. And but Terrence, Terrence Crawford needs that fight. You know, because he is the, in my opinion, Terence Crawford is more skilled, and he doesn't talk trash a lot. He's not a typical, you know, trash talker. He's just a very cool, calm, collected, collective, go, uh, co- collective guy. You know, the guy he's skilled, and Mayweather saying, is saying that they're gonna, you know, build the fight up, it's telling her him to build the fight up, fight up. We don't hear any shit from PBC, but Bo- Bob Harum. Want that fight to happen, or Bob Harum? I, 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 how you guys pronounce it? But nevertheless, it's about water. Water is not even at the level of Errol Spence, my opinion, or Terence Crawford. Why? Because Errol Spence, I think, is more known than water. It's a shame, but it is. Terence Crawford looks like he's more known than water and gets paid more than water, in my opinion. You know, water is just a hater, a guy who hates a lot, a guy who doesn't want to see you progress, a guy who is so hungry for fame. I'm so tired of this guy that even this guy, what whatever that comes out from this guy's mouth is always shit. Okay, and we all are here. We are the we, the passionate fans, are here clamoring for this fight to happen. Hoping this fight happens after a beast fury. Believe me, after a beast fury, he is going to really go wide. I mean, his head is going to really explode. That he will say, Joshua will have to take thirty percent to fight him. Believe me, and will end up not getting to to work, to to see this fight. But nevertheless, like I've said before, I think Joshua should move forward. Joshua is a huge star. You know, in my opinion, he is the biggest star. In the sport of boxing, the most famous, you know, boxer right now. So, worldwide, I mean, not in America, but worldwide. So that is my opinion. Whether you like it or not, 
is just my opinion. Uh, and of course, um, water. This guy is not. I mean, this guy is just using Joshua's name to, you know, to build his profile. But now that we all know his game, a lot of even water fanboys, they are not really, you know, talking about this topic much more than they did before. Remember, you know what? You know why? Because they know that water is just bullshitting, or they are waiting for December first. So let's see what happens. And it's on December first, whether Wado beats Fury or not, even if he beats Fury, there will be no fifty fifty. Joshua is too much of a big star to give this guy fifty percent. It has to be my opinion, seventy thirty. I will settle for sixty forty in favor of Joshua. But the you know the the fair share will be. CC forty. In my opinion, just to pity water. But if you want to really make it, you know, if you want to really make the fight happen, I think Joshua should just give this guy sixty forty and let him just. Just I want to see Joshua just knock this guy out, and so that this guy can disappear and go do whatever he wants to do. You know, cash out. You know, have whatever. Yeah, I mean, just go away from Boston because this guy has done nothing. He has not given us, you know, entertaining fights. He's been knocking guys out. Yes, he does. The ball is against bombs. The only guy he's fought in his career is Luis Otis. And Luis Otis is 20 years old. So let's keep it real, guys. What do you guys think? Is Wilder deluded? Is Wilder just crazy? Is Wilder using this as, you know, a mentor, you know, gain? To try and make Eddie Hearn and Joshua, you know, confused. Like, what is this? What is this main aim? Give it a thumbs below, guys. Like the video, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Cheers, everyone.